African Union Commission to announce the Pan-African Media Network and the Pan-African Media Portal. Many of you were present in Addis Ababa in March 2010 when the decision was made by a meeting of experts, African experts and European experts together to start the Pan-African Media Network panel. The Pan-African Media Network is a brainchild of the Directorate of Information and Communication, the IC, of the African Union Commission and the European Commission within the context of their common program on media development in Africa, which was jointly signed into existence by His Excellency Dr. Jean Ping, President, Chairman, Chairperson of the African Commission and His Excellency Commissioner Louis Michel of the European Commission on September 2008 in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. In this respect, the Commission extends its warmest gratitude to the European Commission for its invaluable assistance. Subsequent to that, an informal expert meeting on media and development hosted by the African Union Commission and the European Commission in Addis Abeba from March 23, 23 to 25, 2010, recommended the launching of the Pan-African Media Network. This meeting was attended by journalists, media owners, media development practitioners, journalists, school, schools and self-regulatory structure, making it truly representative of the broad spectrum of media personnel. The PAME is a structure that aims to bring together the different players in African media development, its major objectives, to build a new body for sharing views, dialoguing, and carrying free discussions on the media and development subject at the African level, and building a new working method on sensitive area in the field of media and journalism. The Global Forum on Media Development, African Forum on Media Development, was asked to facilitate the operations of the network, within will, uh, which will be organized along the subsector of media development. The network aims to get representative of the existing Pan-African sub and sub-regional networks together at least once every two years to have a structure of formalized discussion which could adopt decisions to be considered by the AUC and the EC to initiate new methods of work and tools in the media and to share ideas and suggestions about the Pan-African Media Portal. The portal, the Pan-African Media Portal, is a four-party initiative involving the African Union, All Africa, Africa 24 Media and Africa Media Initiative. It aims to create an online platform that will serve as a centralized access point for comprehensive information on the current African media landscape and facilitate exchange of knowledge between journalists, media houses and related organizations. The intended outcomes of the initiative are to gather and disseminate country-specific knowledge related to media such as the media house listings, regulatory frameworks, 
financing facilities, research and development actors, and projects as we ask to promote, debate, and build a media research community to collate existence best practices. Ladies and gentlemen, my role this morning, this afternoon, or morning, I don't know, <laughs> is not to give you the full details of the progress achieved so far in realizing these two projects that will be done at the launching ceremony on Monday, tomorrow. Rather, my role is to bring awareness of their existence to this August gathering. It is also my honor to pass on the commitment of the African Union Commission to continue working with the different media and cyber society organizations involved in the project. The Commission's commitment is informed by the different instruments it has passed in the area of freedom of speech and access to information. These include, among others, Article 9 of the African Charter on Human and People Rights, adopted by the organization, then Organization of African Unity, OAU, on 27 June 1981. Article 4 1 of the Declaration of Principles on Freedom of Expression in Africa, adopted by the African Commission on Human and People's Rights uh, at its 32nd ordinary session held in October 2002. Article 9 of the African Union Convention on Preventing and Combating Corruption, adopted on 11 July 2003. The African Charter on Democracy, Election and Governance, adopted on 30 January 2007 and the African Union and Nepal Agency Capacity Development Strategy Framework. It is on this basis of this provision that the Commission, supportive of the aim, aims of the PAKAI Conference in general and the Pan-African Media Network and the portal in particular. It is also my honor to inform this plenary session, this session that the panel will be officially launched in the afternoon of 19th November, uh, September in this very complex. The launching will be preceded by a workshop in the morning of the same day. I'm extending a very warm welcome to all those who wish to see the success of these two projects to attend the workshop and the launch. With these few words, ladies and gentlemen, my task is done. In conclusion, I would like to reiterate that the Pan-African Media Network and Portal, Pan-African port, uh, Portal, are tools to enhance media freedom, capacity, knowledge, research, and access to information, information and that they will be launched on Monday, 19 September. The African Union, having initiated the project, is giving its assurance to this meeting of its total commitment to work with the partners, all the partners, to ensure their realization and operation. I thank you very much.